All right, let's get right down to it. Now, let, uh, on Monday's podcast, um, I was talking about the, uh, which is really a fucking old story at this point, maybe, is the uh, first uh, uh, basketball player, athlete, whatever, to come out and say that that, that he was gay. Mm-hmm. And actually, Martina Navratilova said, uh, just a goddamn minute, <laughs> just a goddamn minute. I came out in the 80s. When yeah. they could yell homophobic stuff at me and uh, while they sold Cheerios. There's been a couple others, uh, mostly women. There was a woman on the NBA who came out as well. but this Women is the don't play in the NBA. This was is she the grabbing one. towels for the men that play in that league? The WNBA. Oh, the WNBA. Excuse me. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, shut up. Really? So anyway. Wait a minute. Was, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lane, first... Name one team in the WNBA. Okay. Uh... Name... <laughs> That doesn't mean that that's not valid just because I can't name it. The I'm Colorado not a person. Cleavage. They, not- they've, they've, <laughs> they've won You're the first dick. six years. Such a dick. Um, that's not true. No, but just because I can't name it doesn't mean anything. But I'm the not a Memphis person. anyway. Menstrators. There's been other the Memphis Menstrators. <laughs> <laughs> I can't name. There's the there's the L.A. Sparks. There's the anyway. Uh, there's been other professional athletes who have come out. So he's not necessarily the first, but he's the first because it's the NBA. And so what it's, do you it's think? It's a wider audience. What do you What do you think about it? Should he have Should he have kept his uh, his little uh, dilly Easy. dallyings dallyings Easy. alone? <laughs> I'm trying to say it without cursing. No, I think it's great that he came out. It's a It's a big deal for for the sports world, no? Especially the NBA. Now so, the, someone in the NFL will follow suit. Maybe not uh, right away, but soon. Well, I, I've always I'm said predicting. that I, predicting. I wanted it to be the most manly, the dude that all the homophobic guys, not all, not everybody in the sports bar is homophobic, but there's a lot of them. Right. Right. Just the ones who already have his jersey. So who And so I want them to be, be wearing it. Who Who would that be, though? What, the most manliest dude in the yeah. NFL? And, well, or NFL or NBA. I was talking NFL. Well, who's the most manliest? Aren't they all pretty manly? Well, if I had Supposedly. my choice, mm-hmm. if I, I've <laughs> always like been a Tom fan Brady. of beards. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Tom Brady's not considered the most manliest guy. Everybody calls him a pretty boy. Who would it be? I don't He's know. Just one, one of those sexual. Yeah. Just one of those fucking. You know what I mean? One of those fucking guys. And I'm just trying to get to the joke here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that they, 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 like... They're going to be standing there in the fucking sports bar with sure. that jersey on, right. and now they're going to look like his girlfriend. Because they're wearing his jersey. Why would they look like his girlfriend? Little boyfriend. You know what I mean. (laughs) Because in high school when you date, all the ladies, when they were banging the quarterback, whoever was banging it, got got to walk around wearing his jacket. And they pulled the sleeves up like an 80s comic. And that's what I was trying to fucking get to. I see. But this isn't about me, although it has been for fucking seven minutes. I mean. Here's my thing. I don't think it's any big deal, but what what about the showers? What about the showers? Should he be allowed... (laughs) To go into the showers, I said. Because what? I, Why wouldn't he be know, allowed to? I'll, allowed to? If he didn't try to make any sort of moves, he's not going to now. That's such a like. That's such a knee jerk, fucking homophobic, ridiculous reaction. Oh God! Now that I know that you're gay, you're going to be looking at me and you're going to want to try to rape me. It's like if I didn't try to fucking. Rape I'm not you talking before, about that. Now. I'm talking. So that's bullshit. No, that's not. That's no. nonsense. It isn't nonsense. It is. It's like this knee jerk ridiculous reaction feeling like i'm not saying that he can't fucking shout first of all so why did you all i did was i asked a fucking question why are you and yelling? all you fucking jerk offs immediately just you're you such a fucking homophobic he should have to pay a cover charge oh jesus a cover charge all those shredded dudes fucking abs and all that dicks down to the floors this is what the fuck he's into we just look at that for free that'd be like me for free that would be like me fucking i get to shower like I come out and just say that oh, what I, just what if I came out and said I was gay? Can I then go fucking shower with a bunch of Victoria's Secret? Fucking that doesn't make sense. You wouldn't have I'm been able to, to before, so yeah. That's, no, but I'm just you... saying you don't get to shower with the thing you want to fuck oh, without God. paying. You got to take somebody to a dinner. <laughs> oh, is that what you're getting at? <laughs> I'm fucking around for Christ's sake. I'm fun. You know what? Somebody's gonna chop that up, and I'm gonna have to make an apology. Of but I don't have are. to. Who am I gonna apologize to? Fucking fruitloops.com who the hell do i have in this i didn't mean that i didn't mean that you know what it was i was trying not to say stamps.com jesus Jesus. i'm gonna have to erase this fucking podcast Mm -hmm. you know what it is i told you to watch that i told you to watch that (laughs) no fruit loops is my go-to product i already said cheerios now i always go with cereal 
You don't but think now so? Now it's different. Now it's different. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. I've said a long time ago how I feel about the gays in the community that they live in. Which is what? Would I you think, like to reiterate, reiterate I think, for I us? think years from now they're going to look back on this and see the, see the way gays were treated. And they're going to look at it the same way as like when you used to stone somebody because they were a witch. Yes. I'm just having fun with this shit. Right. Give me a break. You don't think he's fucking psyched standing next to Kobe? <laughs> oh, my God. Stop! Stop! <laughs> He's the best basketball player. He's standing next to me. You are ridiculous. Why wouldn't he look? He's been looking. He's been looking. All right. Well, here's he's the been thing. gay this entire right. wait, wait. time. Well, what so about, okay, okay. Now, like... now we're getting somewhere. So he's been looking. Hypothetically, he's uh, been I mean, looking. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe he hasn't, but. No, no, no. Let me back into this corner for a second so we can have a little fun. Why am I here? So he's been looking, <laughs> right? Now, let me ask you this. Yes. If, if I'm standing around, mm -hmm. all right? bunch of naked women and i've been looking i'm called a creep get out of this locker room <laughs> you creep you creep it's like what do you think i'm gonna rape you i'm just looking at your little bush over there that's all i'm doing it's really how it's come really i can't do same. that how come i can't do that it's not the same why can't i go shower with the lady <laughs> how come i can't do that this is this is reverse uh <laughs> fucking whatever it is if he gets to shower <sighs> with the fellas well, huh? He probably won't now. He knows how people feel. No, he'll, probably, he'll probably purposefully separate himself because he doesn't want people to feel uncomfortable. He'll no, I think I think what, I think what he do is own. great. I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun. Yes. And for all you cunts out there who are actually taking this shit seriously, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, <laughs> I don't. I got to <laughs> no, be honest it's, with you. It's I a thought great thing that he did. It was great. It's great. It took a lot of balls. It did. It took a lot of fucking balls. To do to do what he did, especially when it seems like that's a sport where, oh, his... I don't know, because you got all those guys, you know, random tweets and other kind of bullshit. You know, it's such a you know masculine. All the the world of sports anyway, when it comes to men's sports, is seen as a very masculine. You've got to be a certain kind of guy, a tough guy, a strong guy, a guy that's not afraid of pain, who's going to go out there and just you know right. like get when Chris, brutalized. And when, when, when Chris Bosh cried. After they lost the, the the championship, he got a ton oh, of shit for it. He collapsed to the ground and cried it out. And when they it, won? When they lost. Oh, when they lost. Well, yeah, it's fucking. He, he had a lot no, into no. it, right? You know, he just said, "Well, yeah." He put yeah. a lot of emotion into it. Why wouldn't you? But yeah, but, but because you, but you cry, you're seen as weak. Because we're guys. Yeah, yeah, what you're exactly. supposed to do is take that ball of sadness <laughs> and stick it next, add it to the big ball of sadness in your uh -huh, chest, right? And then and one, do what the, with it? one day you're out there with the hedge clippers <laughs> when you're like 55 and you just drop and that's it. Mm. You guys cry it out. Right. I heard you keep your memories in your chest. 